Hey friend, today I'm talking about sample rates and bit depth in digital audio. What are they and why you should care about them? Hey, my name is Oliver, and if you're new around here, I like to talk about audio for video as well as filmmaking and composing and all things creative. So if any of that interests you, you should probably subscribe to the channel. So sample rate and bit depth. If you're new to audio, like many of you are who watch my channel, learning about audio for video, you may not understand what sample rate and bit depth are and why you should care about them. Most recorders are gonna give you different options for sample rate and bit depth, as well as in-camera audio. So just briefly, starting with sample rate, it is a measure of how how many samples per second the digital audio is giving you into the recording. So if you know anything about analog and digital, analog signals are electricity traveling through electrical components. And to make that digital and record it in a digital recorder, you have to digitize it. And to digitize something, you turn the signal into ones and zeros. It's quite literally that simple. Sample rate in digital audio is literally taking a sample of the audio thousands and thousands and thousands of times a second. Most digital recorders give you the option to choose a different sample rate. Typically, you'll see 44.1 kilohertz or 48 kilohertz. What this means is how many times per second the recorder is taking a sample of the actual signal. So the more samples, the more of the signal is being digitized. The less, the, the lower the sample rate, the less of the actual signal is being digitized. Obviously, the higher the sample rate, the more samples of the audio you're going to get, the bigger the file size. Typically, 44.1 is standard for music. That's because the CDs, when they were rolled out, used 44.1 audio. 44.1 kilohertz is the same as 44,100 hertz. So 44,100 times every second, the audio is being sampled. A little piece of it is being looked at and read and listened to and then written down. So all that means for you is if you want to edit your audio, typically you'd want a higher sample rate when recording. The reason for this is with more data, there's more ways to edit it. If you translate this over into color, that's why a lot of people prefer raw or high bit rate color recording or high bit depth color recording because you have more information to work with in post-production. It's the exact same with audio. Many recorders like my Zoom F8 over here, as well as my Universal Audio Apollo Twin record up to 192 kilohertz. That's 192,000 hertz or 192,000 times a second. This recorder is looking at the audio and digitizing it. So that high, is it really that important? It's hard to say because at the end of the day, you're gonna be listening to it on YouTube at 48K or on a CD at 44.1. You will not be listening to this on a CD, however, so I don't know why I said that. But if you listen to any digital music, typically it's 44.1. Film is typically 48K. So again, what is, that, what is a kilohertz? What is hertz? Hertz is simply a measurement of frequency. So the lower the hertz, the lower the frequency. The higher the hertz, the higher the frequency, literally just how many times something happens, in this case, the sample of digital audio. But in the human hearing spectrum, it's the frequency of a sound wave. How many times does that sine wave moving through the air cycle above and below the plane per second? The higher the frequency of that sine wave in the air, the higher the sound is to our ears. And the lower the frequency of that sine wave or that wave in the air, the lower the frequency. So that transitions, uh, that transitions us over into bit depth. We were gonna talk about that as well. So what is bit depth? Well, that refers to actually how many ones and zeros there are per sample. So if you're taking 48,000 samples per second, how many digits or how many bits are in that individual sample? Typically recorders offer 16 or 24 bit audio. All that means is that every sample is either gonna have 16 digits or 24 digits. So again, more data, more size, theoretically more quality. A more uh, robust bit rate is gonna give you more full of a sampled sound because it's more that is being sampled each second. So the F8 will record at 24 bit, 192K. What that means is that there are 24 ones and zeros 
sampled 192,000 times a second. That's how you get analog audio into digital. So bottom line, why, why should you even care about this as a filmmaker? Well, when you're using your recorder and you wanna get the best audio you possibly can in the field, I would recommend recording at the highest sample rate, highest bit depth you can. Because if you're shooting footage, that's gonna take up most of your space anyway. Might as well take up a little bit more space with audio. It's still not gonna be that big of a file comparatively. If you can record at 48, great. If you can record higher, 96, great. Highest bit depth you can, I would say just go with that because then there is more data to work with in post-production, even if you're delivering in 48K, which most of us are going to be delivering in 48K. We're pretty tight in here. Sean's in the studio today. Say hi to Sean. What's up, everybody? Sean recorded violin on this track. And this track. He's really talented. That's all for this week. Hopefully that wasn't too confusing. Be sure and hit subscribe and also like and share the video. That way I grow, you grow, we all grow together. And with nothing else, I'll see you next week.